Welcome back to another unscrupulous ass video. By the way, this whole video I pronounced his name wrong, but just enjoy nonetheless. Nick Ed 30. Nicholas Amuni, I think. I don't know. Famous professional Fortnite player. And there's just one thing you need to know about him ultimately. And that's to keep it family friendly. So recently I've been seeing on my TikTok feed a shit ton of clips of Nick Ed 30 keeping it family friendly, baby. And I never really realized the stress this man would take just to achieve this. Like if we were to rate him on one of those little video gaming chart bullshits, he would be in the category behind the rated E for everyone category. Category. So I kind of want to review some of the clips I've seen so we can see the extent he takes this to. But before I start this video, do I blame him for acting this way? I gotta be honest, fuck no. The family-friendly content money margins are just insane. If I had no type of morals, you would see me with a YouTube kids account named Tommy Melon. And it clearly works for him. I mean, his videos do really good even though Fortnite is pretty much dead by now. But does that mean I can't make fun of him? No, and if you know me, I'm not a good person and I've never claimed to be a good person. In fact, let's just start this shit. Nick 830 The Menace, I am... Actually, no, let's stop saying that. I'm gonna start banning anyone that says that, okay? I shouldn't draw attention to that. So yeah, this is a good way for you to get an idea of the way he thinks. He banned the word menace like it's gonna shock kids and their parents if they hear it. The whole family's watching Nick at 30 on the television and dad has a fucking heart attack over Nick at 30 saying menace. Like, come on, Nick, we gotta limit this shit. The problem too is he mostly labels his streams like PG-13. And I doubt anyone above the age of 13 is going to be frightened by the word menace. Sure. What the fuck? Whoa, stop swearing, dude. Come on now. I'm so sorry, sorry, How sorry, old are sorry, you? Sorry, 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 sorry. Jeez. That's not cute. Yeah, that's not cute, man. Stupid little piece of shit. Who taught you to talk like that? You kiss your mother with that mouth? On the real, though, can you imagine getting parented in a Fortnite game? You're already a kid and your parents boss you around 24-7. Now you have to go on Fortnite where another grown-ass man tries to parent you. This kid is better than me because I was toxic at the age of, like, 10. Playing Call of Duty back in the day as a squeaker, you just naturally learned how to talk shit. I had grown-ass men calling me the N-word and the F-slur. Yes, now can you just not swear it's a family-friendly stream? Otherwise, I will have to rage quit out of this game. Please, Nick, anything but that. Don't rage quit, man. I have a wife and kids. My life is ruined now, thanks to you. I hope you can live with that in your conscience. Did your mom not let you curse in the house? No, actually, they didn't. That's sad. It's not sad. It's actually a very, uh, very, uh, I had very awesome parents. Damn, I think I just caught this man in a lie. He says his parents never let him curse in the house. Yet, I have a clip of his own dad cursing on his stream. I got you in 4K, Nick. Fucking 4K. I, I don't know if you'd want to go sweaty, to be honest. Oh, I can kick ass. Oh, it's a family friendly stream. And I'm not gonna lie, from this angle, it looks like Nick is the dad and his dad is his son. But does this really prove anything? Not really, but I thought it was just funny. But really think of it, imagine telling your own parents to stop swearing. Nick at 30 might be the first ever person in recorded history to do just that. Like here or some shit, then grab an AR or whatever it spawns and just go shoot him a few times. Yeah. Hey, uh, Cypher, would it be possible also to keep it family friendly by any chance, please? Oh yeah, sorry about yes. that, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thank yeah, you, thank you. You the man, appreciate ya. Now this clip is the one I think is the most famous. Every time you look at it, you gotta pay respects for his amount of willingness to push the family-friendly content agenda. I imagine even he had the pain of going through saying that's a cipher. No matter how friendly you are, that shit's just gotta be embarrassing. These guys are- Oh my god, they're so immature. Come on, follow him. Now these are the times I cannot believe this man is real. We get it, Nick. You cater to Goo Goo Gaga family friendly kitty kids. So why'd you have to unfollow your homie just because he cursed in his stream? Bitch, you're the one that clicked on his stream for your audience to watch. If anything, you're not keeping it family friendly. You need to be grateful because in some countries, like even for China, like China, like they don't have Fortnite. Oh my God. Yeah, I think that's the main problem living in a communist China, that they don't have Fortnite. You know, not the fact that their government treats them like a goddamn credit score, or the fact that they have an unhealthy amount of pollution produced every year, or the fact that the government keeps its citizens in a pandemic state even though the rest of the world is pretty much free. But you know what, just send these kids a laptop with Fortnite downloaded on it and they'll be good to go. So please refrain from swearing in the future. Why do you say that early? kind of stuff though? Like, what, what kind of parents do you have? Like, who raised you? Fuck. Shit. Bitch. Dick pussy ass. Well, I guess now my parents didn't raise me right. Okay, maybe he was just shocked that someone was cursing to him in the game. But yeah, I honestly hope he wasn't really serious about that. He's, he's coming on me. That's what she said, guys. I muted my mic, don't worry. It's too young for his ears. Whoa, Nick, that's not very family friendly. Honestly, that's like beyond family friendly. I don't even think I would say that. Maybe your parents just didn't raise you right, man. But I haven't really told you guys something this whole video. And that's Nick at 30 wasn't always so family friendly. I know, I know. Crazy plot twist. Nick, you're not slick. I'm on your ass. So apparently somebody posted his old videos on YouTube. And it was literally him just like cursing and being edgy and stuff. And these videos do look pretty damn old, I'm not gonna lie. Surprisingly, most people don't know how he used to be wild. Someone managed to find one of his old Q&As before he was and let me just say, it's just a little bit different from how he acts now. Really? 
Fuck you. I'm fucking done with this shit. How the fuck do I know, man? Bully! Fuck you, call me? Huh? Fuck it. Next question. Why the fuck do you guys keep asking me about this shit? How are you not turned on right now? Yeah. Do you even lift, bro? No, I just jerk off a lot. Licks does it take to get to the center, but fuck off! I'm a motherfucking genius. It's just something about Nick at 30 cursing that just does not seem real. Now I can kind of see why he switched to family-friendly content. It feels like if you ever had that one friend that was just never allowed to curse, then once they grow up, they let every curse word in existence just out their mouth. Anyways, I tried confronting Nick on his Twitch stream about this, and let's just say, uh, he did not take to me very kindly asking him. Nigger, uh, thank you for the really Nick. That's how you're gonna do me out of all things in the book that word told you guys He's not as family friendly as you think but no one believed me. Okay on the real though He didn't actually say that he actually pronounced it with an M But it just sounds so funny because like it sounds exactly like the other word You know like I'm not that evil to just manipulate it and make it seem like he actually did that But I mean this happens a lot in his streams to be honest People will just come in and donate with stupid names and try to like make him say something that he shouldn't have Or just tell him to do shit. That's diabolical. There's a way to trick your brain thinking there's salt in your mouth You have to pretend you have a magic imaginary cell shaker and you're shaking it in your mouth. <laughs> okay, uh, funny. Like, come on, Nick. That's the oldest trick in the book. Honestly, I'm just more disappointed that he didn't do it correctly. Personally, I would have went with, like, the two-power hand drill technique, and, you know, just to get it. But, you know, that's just me, man. Anyways, after looking at all these clips and all these things that he does, at the end of the day, after all these jokes I made, Nick is making his fucking bag. He's probably made more in four years of making family-friendly content than I'll make in my entire life. So don't go sending hate to him. Let him make his bag, to be honest. And, yeah, I'm just gonna end the video there. This video is not gonna be that long. It's more of, like, a comedy joking video. So let me know if you guys like these type of videos thank you guys once again the channel growth has been fucking insane sub the f up follow my tiktok and my instagram and until next time i'm out